I'm Big Sean here. Now this week, Notre Dame takes on the University of Washington at South Bend, which is good for us because we could use a little home field advantage right now. Now, as you all know, we're, uh, we're coming off the, uh, the close encounter with Purdue, uh, 24-21. And uh, to be honest with you, I was a little bit disappointed that Notre Dame didn't break into the top 25 with, uh, with all the upsets that happened this past week. But, you know, whatever. What can you do, right? Just, uh, you know, they just have to, have to keep on winning, so, you know. But anyway, um, like I said, we got the Washington Huskies this week, and uh, let's, uh, let's go over that game a little bit. Now, uh, Washington, they're coming off a 34-14 loss to Stanford. And uh, Washington, they're 2-2 two and two on the year and 1-1 one and one in the Pac-10 Conference. And that one win coming over uh, USC, which was uh, which is pretty impressive. And that shows right there that they're not the same Washington team that we uh, blew out last year. So, anyway, uh, key players for Washington. Of course, uh, the big one being quarterback Jake Locker, who has thrown for just, just over 1,000 yards with uh, six touchdowns and three interceptions. And uh, other notables for Washington are uh, running back Chris Polk, who uh, on 84 carries has ran the ball for 316 yards and one touchdown. And then we've got wide receiver James Johnson, who leads the team in receiving with 19 receptions for 220 yards and two touchdowns. So, uh, now with what I uh, noticed with Washington, of course, them being at 2-2 two and two so far to start the year, that's uh, automatically a big improvement considering the fact they were 0-12 last year. And uh, they were very impressive in the USC win. And, uh, you know, even though they're coming off the big loss to Stanford, uh, Stanford, I noticed that they're 3-1, and one, and right now they're uh, they're atop of the Pac-10, or at least, well, tied for the Pac-10. So, uh, right away, our, uh, our schedule isn't looking so cream puff anymore, in my opinion. But, um, anyway, well, we all saw... Uh, how much of a difference not having certain guys in the on the playing field mattered on Saturday, and uh, you know the way I see it is uh, if Notre Dame can get through this win, uh, we have a bye week after Washington, and uh, that should give uh, you know Jimmy and Armando some time to catch up on some rest and get healthy for the big game and against USC here in a couple weeks. But um, that's two weeks from now. Let's talk about this game. Now, Washington, I noticed with them that they're a team that gives up uh, more yards than they gain. And the big key thing that I noticed with Washington, and the best place for Notre Dame to attack, is uh, the running game. I, now, I noticed that uh, Washington, defensively, they allow over 200 yards of, of rush offense a game. So now, if our, I, hopefully Armando Allen is going to be playing this week. Because that is where I think Notre Dame needs to attack. And even though Jimmy is still going to be battling the turf toe, I do see him having another fine game. I mean, he proved that he's gutsy enough to get the job done, no injury through and through. So, um, And, uh, you know, defensively, I don't really think the Huskies have changed that much. I mean, I think they have gotten somewhat better. But even, you know, with... Uh, I know I'm going to be saying this a lot in my videos, but even with, without Michael Floyd, um, I still do see, uh, you know, Clawson can get somewhat better and do uh, do better from the Purdue game. Then I do see Notre Dame winning this game by at least 10 points. So, my final score prediction for this game, considering the fact that uh, we had a lot of questions answered on, uh, on the Purdue game, and, uh, you know, with what certain... Uh, certain individuals not being in the game. Hopefully we can get some of them back. Um, I see Notre Dame winning this game 24-14. to 14. Um, I see the run difference be, make, being the difference here. Um, I think the defense will get better. I mean, they showed it uh, in the Purdue game. They got better. They, um, you know, they made some big plays to keep us in that game. And uh, So, yeah, I, I, can, I only see the defense getting better from here on out. And, you know... You can only get better week by week, you know? So so that's my final prediction for Notre Dame versus Washington. Notre Dame takes it 24-14. to 14, And, of course, you know, playing at home, that'll be the big advantage. So, 
Um, could be more points, you know, if uh, Armando's hel uh, healthy and he's playing, and um, they attack the. If these stats are correct, and Notre Dame attacks the the Washington uh, run defense, the poor Washington run defense, and uh, we might we may very well score more than 24 points. But for now, 24 uh, 24 to 14 will be my final prediction in favor of the Irish. So uh, with that being said, this is Big Sean, and I'll catch you guys later for uh, the Washington uh, recap.